Hello Warfighters, War is Hell. Welcome to what I think is going to be a cool video. I just wanted to show off Crusader Kings 3 real quick to you guys because this is a game I just absolutely love. I play this in my spare time, like in between reading for class and everything. So I'm like, hey, I, I don't know if this is going to turn into a YouTube series or anything. That's up to you guys, but uh, I'm just going to go show this to you and kind of start off here a little bit. So you can start off in different time periods as far as when you want to play. Uh, 867 is when I like to play and you can go with some pre-established situations like you know what's going on here in Wrath of the Northmen you've got Bjorn Ironside, Ivar the Boneless, you know Alfred you, you've got basically a whole bunch of stuff here that you can start off from which is great and obviously here in 1066 you can see time is advanced and you, you've got different leaders and everything that you can play as the whole premise of this game is to go through and build up your dynasty your family uh, your influence, your empire, all that type of stuff. And while war is obviously a part of it, it's not everything. So I hope I get to show off some of that for you. Personally, I like to start a little bit earlier. So 867, but rather than playing as a particular uh, leader in the game. Oh, geez. What is going on here? Um, there we go. Ha. Xbox controller on the ground. Okay. Um, there's a lot of different groups you could play as. You can see right here, just the map, all of these different areas you can, you know, play as, as the faction leader, which is really cool. Uh, China, there's a lot you could do there. India, uh, Africa. First one I ever did, and this was part of the tutorial, was on Crusader Kings 2. was playing as Ireland and going through and, and uniting all of Ireland. I'm doing one for fun, which is the King of Prussia. It's actually some hilarious stuff that's happened. Um, but I did one a long time ago in Crusader Kings 2 where I was playing as a Muslim faction. It was just a blast. So I think I'm going to keep doing that. Um, and I started off here in, in Africa. But I think what I'm going to do is go Arabian Peninsula. And there's a lot of advantages, obviously, to being on the coast. So I'm kind of looking at that. Um, so, like, you know, he's probably going to have one or two. Yeah, so he's got a couple things here on, on the coast. Ziadid. Oh, that's three cities. I kind of like this. Plus, it gives me access to Africa. I, I feel like, you know, moving north and northeast, I'm only going to be able to get so far. And then I'm, like, right here, you know, contending where four major empires are. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're going to play as Ziadid. So, I'm going to be Amir Ibrahim Ibn Muhammad of the Ziadid Emirate. Say that three times fast, guys. Okay. So let's get going. Now, since this is all about building up your family, I got to be married. Uh, so I'm taking a look at what I got. A potential alliance. Are those guys near me at all? I don't know. I mean, everybody else who is below her is considered lowborn. I mean, she's part of a, a house. Um, I'm taking a look. So she's got the stuttering trait. That's going to potentially pass on to my kids. I don't want to do that. Now they're stuttering. The Hunchback. I'm just looking through all these traits. There's good ones that are out there. Like right here. Okay, trusting, compassionate, lustful. And she is pleasant to look at. She's Persian. I think we're all right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and marry her. Let's send that proposal. Now, if I remember right, too... Yeah, I've got an heir who is 12 right now. So if my main person dies, then I will take over playing as him. Uh, so I got to make sure that he is being educated. Uh, I'm going to take him under my wing. There we go. And then you can also have secondary spouses, which I know in some factions and religions and cultures, if you don't have another wife, then you actually get penalized for it. So let me let me take a look here. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just try and look for some traits. There's hunchback again. Gosh, two hunchbacks. Wheezing. Nope. Quick. She is also calm, paranoid, and sadistic. Nope. She's got a lisp. Frail. <laughs> That's awesome. They do an egg for that one. Slow. Melancholy, albino. She's quick. She's temperate, chaste, and zealous. Uh, she Okay, that's... You know what? That might actually not be too bad. 
leader. Okay. Um. Awkward. Temperate, content, lazy. You know what? I'll take it. Retta, you're with me. Okay. Send proposal. Let's take a look at our next thing, which is to choose a lifestyle. So stewardship is where I've spent most of my time already. Uh, so since my guy's, let's see, how old is he? 37. I think it gives you some of these traits to just represent what would have happened uh, had I started off with him at the beginning of his leadership or his reign. So this is, this is good. Okay, I will take that. Uh, we're going to go with wealth focus. I want that extra monthly income here. That's uh, really key starting off. Perfect. Okay, so we've got that. And then with what I'm looking at here, I think moving up this way is going to be the, the best way to go, given that a lot of these guys are just one county territories. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll move that way here and try to expand a little bit that way. Um, let's take a look at my council, what I've got. I've got a decent spy master at 12. My marshal is 17 years old. I've got a semi-terrible chancellor and steward. We're going to have to try and fix that. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me see what I've got going on here. I'm going to move up. Take Kinda Sukun. Oh, thanks, Retta. She accepts my hand in marriage. I must be doing something right. It, he oh you'll be joined with my acquaintance I, I it is i will accept your proposal like i didn't choose you dude not judging or anything but that, that's not what i was expecting okay really the the biggest things that i could do right now is work on declaring some wars to try and expand so this guy's got 357 levies that he can raise for me I'm looking at 871. Here's my army. It gives you a rundown of everything that you've got. So my knights, basically. Um, see, I don't want him fighting. I don't want him fighting. My vassal, that's fine. I don't care about my vassals fighting. It's just like the people who are on my council are people who I do not want fighting there. Ibrahim. Oh, it's going to cost me 20. I'm not at the stage right now where I want to do that. Let me look one more time. Just make sure steward and vassal forbid him. Chancellor and vassal forbid. Vassal's fine. Oh yeah. Marshal. Don't want you going. My mufti. What is that? Is that a council position? See, this is the thing too. Like as I'm going through and yeah, so my, my priest, we're going to have to make sure my mufti doesn't go. Or bead. Now what I'm going to have to do is actually recruit some people to come in. Um, but you'll see kind of what I've, I've got planned here in a little bit. Okay, so he's, he's raiding right now. Interesting. Let's do it. Um, declare war. Now, there's a couple different kinds of wars you could declare. There's just your regular conquer one, uh, which is going to use, you know, your your faith resource. Um, and then you've got holy war. Oh, wait, no, no, no. So conquer uses your prestige. That's right, holy war. Um, we'll use your, your religious build up here. So I'm going to go with just conquer since I've got the prestige right now. All right. So let's, let's declare war on him. Military. We're going to raise the armies and you'll see combat here is really nothing that I would say is too difficult. Uh, it's basically just a matter of how you have your own guys uh, built up. You could do those men at arms regiments right here, which let you choose from some additional units. They cost more money, obviously. Let's do that. 
Um, but man, if you could implement something like Total War in this, that would be so cool. So he's only got 205 of his levies raised. So I'm going to outnumber him by a factor of, of 4 to 1. When you look at the terrain, uh, it definitely favors, uh, favors them. Oh man, okay. So I'm a, I have the forgiving trait. And so when I'm here presented with a choice, the head of the Muslim faith here at the time, Cal, uh, Caliph Al-Mutaz, -Mut himself has been embezzling the money that his followers gave for charity, repurposing it for his personal use. While scandals among the clergy are nothing new, many are aghast that the head of our faith would succumb to such temptations. So, I, there's a number of things I could do. I, I, I don't want to lose those resources. I will take a little bit of stress. And... We're going to just stay silent about this. Maybe I can penalize him another way. Let's let's take a look. Yeah, he's he's right here. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I I could straight up murder him. Now he has no children, so that's his his brother will take over. We're gonna do this. Okay, so I'm starting off a scheme here. Um, let's take a look at the Intrigue tab. In about 11 months, we'll, we'll see this kind of built up all the way. Yeah, I got a lot of, a lot of help on something like this. Fantastic. Now, I could start some personal schemes too. Let's take a look and see what my relationship with uh, is with some people around me. Both my spouses like me. Retta, let's, let's try to see if I can improve her opinion. Yeah, so over here, we're seeing that there's a lot of people that have joined in on kind of what I've been doing here for taking out the, the head of the religion. Yep, keep moving. Move away. Oh, he's going to stand and fight. Now, he does have superior troops, uh, but I've just got better numbers. So this is going to go pretty quick. Awesome. Okay, so he's going to fall back. A valuable hostage has been captured. Oh, it is the guy in charge. All right, let's... Let's ransom him. I'll take the money. If they accept. I mean, I could have ended the war right there, to be honest, but I want that money. A caliph to scare a local mystic with dubious morals and a fabricated omen. Perfect. Before the mystic leaves for Caliph Al-Mutaz's court, there is but one question. Will my false omen be one of fortune and doom? Um... Let's see. So, it, he lets his guard down. Good omen for 10 years. Good omen. We're, we're going to say a good omen to lull him with a false sense of security. He lets his guard... Oh! <laughs> All right. Perfect. We're taking him down, guys. I think we're going to do it. That would just be amazing if that that empire just just falls. Hey, you're my hostage again. Can I ransom him? Nope. Um, we're going to execute him by burning him at the stake. Who, what, what family does he have? He's got. All right, we'll, we'll let him, we'll let him go. 
Or do I? No. He's gone. Alright. So my son seems to enjoy our latest feast immensely. He got along quite well with everyone he spoke to, even the adult guests. It never hurts to make friends. Okay. That is a good trait to have. Now here, I have won the battle. And I've taken the town. And you, my man... I'm going to enforce my demands on you, which you have to accept. So be it. Now, is he... I don't see anywhere else he could be. All right, so I am now at five of four territories that I own. Hazan, Sakra, Almandav, Zabid... So this particular territory, I am going to have to give away because if I hold on to it, then what ends up happening is I get penalized in some different ways. So let's go over here. My son needs a place to rule. We're going to grant him the title of the Sheikdom of Kindasakun. Grant the titles. Congratulations, my man. You are good to go with your own area to rule. We're going to disband the military. And as I do that, I have a daughter, Rashida. Yes. Grow wise and strong, my daughter. Cool. So now, you can see, we've grown a little bit. I still have all this territory that I control. My son's here. I'll probably give him up this area, too. I've got a good amount of money coming in here, 4.9 a turn. Um, but there's going to be some opportunities for me to get more. And to do that, I just have to wait. Ooh, my schedules, or my agents have scheduled a journey for Caliph Al Mutaz, which will take them through dark woods. All that is missing is the band of thugs that will tragically slay him or them in a highway robbery gone wrong. I can already imagine the blood seeping into the dark soil. Ooh, the woods can be such a dangerous place. So I have a 95% chance. Wait until the moment is right. The woods are a dangerous place. Okay, I'm curious to see if this works. He's left the world, sent off by a bandit's blade. As the travel party stopped to camp for the evening, bandits poured out from among the trees, calling for blood and gold. The soldiers fought back, but thankfully it was not enough. Caliph Al-Mutaz was tragically slain in the melee. The bandits are now hunted by all, and no one even suspects my involvement. Perhaps commoners are not so useless after all. Nice. Okay. Oh, dang. Do you remember how large this was? Now look how broken up it is. What happens? Can I go after him too? Oof. Going. We're going for it. Why? Because I can. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so let's take a look. 448 for him right now. I'm sitting at 962. Uh, so here we go. 151 gold. So now I can start working on things that are going to uh, be critical for me. So I've got like military camps, for example, which will get me 100 additional levies. Uh, the trade port is something that I'm really eager to start working on. I want to get that extra money because uh, it does obviously play a factor, especially this early. All right, we're going to go trade port for you construct and like I was saying I want to take advantage of the fact that I hold the coast an additional payment in a recent trade I find myself in possession or as additional payment in a recent trade I find myself in possession of a large herd of camel I have been assured that the animals are of the highest quality but the question of what should be done with them remains um, Mandab will prosper from the herd it's a beautiful herd but it could be larger I've got a 77% chance of making it larger. So let's let's go with that. Haha, -ha, large cattle herd. Sweet. 
Okay, now we've got a lot of good things going on. I could declare war on them to try and, and expand even more up here. These guys are at 759, 458, 530, 964, 958. So I got a couple regional rivals right here. And what about over here in Africa? This guy's at 1173. I feel like he is... Oh, I've only got a 5% chance at offing him. I feel like this guy's going to start raiding me at some point. So I'm not ready yet to start moving into, into Africa. Let's get Yemen basically taken care of. Uh, now that I see how this is all organized here with the damage that I done with the assassination, it'll be easier for me to take this. So I feel like the Arabian Peninsula is definitely within reach for me. It's just, oh man, we've got, again, some large empires around me. They've obviously diminished in size. Can I off him? Yeah, he's at 19%. Oh, too far away. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're good. Okay, so what I need to be doing here with my council, I'm going to utilize my marshal. We're going to increase control of that county that we just took. Um, they're, they've got some differences as far as culture, religion, I think. And, no, well, they've got, uh, they're actually pretty close to me. So I don't think that'll be too difficult, but I think they were a different religion. So, yeah, they could, they could have some issues. Um, taking a look, what I've got, increased county development, building construction time, and I've got something going on. But I do like being able to collect taxes more. Um, while he's doing that, I think I'm going to see a reduction in my overall levies. So uh, we've got a good point, I think, right here to just end it. Like I said, if you wanted to see more, let me know because we've got that murder going on up here, which that might just absolutely destroy the empire. I, I think I already did, to be honest. <laughs> just a few years in, and I've destroyed their empire. Um, but anyway, really good stuff I have up ahead. If you guys watch this all the way through thank you crusader kings 3 go ahead and put that in the comment section so i know which video that you ended up watching but really guys i appreciate you stopping by uh war as hell you don't have to worry because warfighters i've got your six